than your black counterparts. I would never teach that to my child. You're just as good as everybody else. I, I believe that firmly, and selling that narrative, all that does is belittle other people, and that's what they're doing in these schools. I think it needs to stop. It's absolutely ridiculous. That's number two, racism. Number three, absolutely insane, especially with real estate investing in California. If you're thinking about investing in real estate in California, I would definitely wait. Here's a really good example of why I would do that. This just signed into law. I'm going to read it verbatim. COVID-19 relief tenancy. Tenant Stabilization Act of 2021. This bill would extend the definition of COVID-19 rental relief debt as unpaid rent or any other unpaid financial obligation of a tenant that came due between March 1st, 2020 and December 31st, 2021. This bill would also extend the repeal date of the act to to January 1st, 2026. Five years. This bill would make other conforming changes to align with these extended dates by extending the repeal date of the act. The bill would expand the crime of perjury and create a state-mandated local program. Think about all these mom-and-pop landlords that are going to lose the the act to to January 1st, 2026. Five years. This bill would make other conforming changes to align with these extended dates by extending the repeal date of the act. The bill would expand the crime of perjury and create a state-mandated local program. Think about all these mom-and-pop landlords that are going to lose their properties. The state of California is going to come gobble them up. They're losing their businesses. But it's not like we can go to Whole Foods and stop the cart and walk out and security guard yells at us and says, hey, you didn't pay that bill. No, I'll come back. I'll come back in a year or a couple years. I got you. Don't worry about it, buddy. That's basically what tenants can now do in California. And, I mean, I feel like that would be even more ethical. Amazon, Whole Foods, they don't pay any taxes. At least I do. At least everybody else does. This should not happen. Government should not be controlling land and the desirability for people to pay their obligations. If I rent you an apartment, the obligation is that I provide you a place to live and your obligation is that you pay for that place to live. If you can't pay, it's time to move out, regardless of whatever the circumstance is. Just like if I have a phone bill or a car payment and the same situation happens and I can't make my due, what does that mean? It doesn't mean that I just get to live rent free and and be able to basically steal from somebody else. No, it means that I'm personally impacted and I need to make changes accordingly. Number four, number four is absolutely insane. You know, for many years, we've been able to say what we want, express ourselves, and that's what's made us individuals. Well, no longer is that the case in California with this new bill. This bill is AB 35. I'm going to read it to you verbatim. Social media platforms, false information. False information. Who determines what information is false? The bill would require a person that operates a social media platform as defined to disclose whether or not that social media platform has a policy or mechanism in place to address the spread of misinformation as specified. This bill would require the disclosure to be made easily accessible on the social media's platform, website, and mobile application. The bill would authorize the attorney general or any district attorney, county council, or city attorney to enforce violations of its provisions and would subject the person to a civil penalty of $1,000 each day the person is in violation of the bill's provisions. Wow. This This is is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. California is is stripping away freedom. And and no offense, but... Freedom uh, is gone in California. And even what this guy is saying, like, this guy... It's like he's 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 he, uh, he he's making the points other than the other point of the whole fucking rent thing. So I'm guessing he owns some sort of fucking property that he wants money on and fucking because then he's in violation. But then it's like, you know, it's like whatever the fuck. I don't I don't give a fuck about his situation. I am saying that, you know what? It's like it doesn't matter. He's bringing up the points that are already there on paper. And that's the point. It's like. This shit is fucking, you have no idea, this is fucking insane, this is absolutely insane, the whole fucking thing, this whole fucking thing is insane, and it all goes back to what I was saying in the other fucking video, like, this all started back when I made that fucking math mistake, seriously, no shit, no shit.